So we've been looking at three different kinds of transmission spectroscopy, gases, liquids, and solids. Here we're gonna be looking at liquids. Now we had already prepared this liquid cell. We had filled it uh, using our liquid and our syringes, injecting it right into it. To mount this into the thermoscientific Nicolay IS-50 FTIR is quite simple. There is a slotted uh, holder right in here that this slides right into, just like a card into a slot and it slides right down. Now moving over to the computer for a moment, let's look at the settings. I've got this again set up for a moderate resolution type of experiment, four wave number resolution, using the DTGS detector, the standard range. I'm gonna collect eight scans. That'll be plenty to get me where I wanna go. Now I'm gonna show one quick other feature of the Nicolay IS-50, and that's the touch button right on the front. I can actually start the data collection using this touch point, which begins the collection over on the instrument and allows it to start. I can also stop it. I can also do an analysis if I connect the control to that button. For the moment, though, I'm going to come back here to the computer so I can show you clearly what all we've got. So we'll just store that. So there's the spectrum of the material we've got. Now, I've already set up some libraries, so I'm going to do a search and see if it can identify what that material is. And a search returns is a very high search result, methyl alcohol, which is indeed what I put in there. So for liquids, for the liquid transmission type of spectroscopy, that's all there is to it. Once you've got it filled, you just mount the cell right in there. As I showed, there were different thicknesses depending upon the uh, type of sample, different thicknesses of gasket. So you pick your gasket appropriately. When you construct the cell, fill it and run it. So that's all there is to liquid phase transmission spectroscopy.